Today's class I am going to discuss about a C square MOS dynamic register. So what is the abbreviation of C square MOS? So C square MOS in the sense C square MOS. So this C first C represent clock, second C represent C MOS. So complementary metal oxide semiconductor dynamic register. So this C and C. So it's called as a C square MOS. So now I draw the basic structure. So this is the pull-up network. Then we are using two transistor. So one is the PMOS transistor and another one is MOS transistor. Then this one is pull-down network. So this pull up network connect to VDD, pull down network connect to VSS. So it's the key input for pull up network, key input for pull down network. This one is clock, clock. So clock bar and clock. So it's a clock with a CMOS inverter. So this pull up network consists of PMOS transistor, this pull down network consists of NMOS transistor. So this is the basic structure of clock plus CMOS. Now I am going to design MOSFET slave edge trigger dynamic register. So C square MOS dynamic register. Now I am going to draw the structure. So this line is BDD. Here I am going to design the inverter circuit. So first two transistors are considered PMOS transistor. And next two transistors consider NMOS transistor. So this transistor M1, M2, M3, M4. So M1 and M4 are interconnected and D is the input band. So clock bar, then clock, VSS. So output you get from here. So between M2 and M3, they will get the output values. See what is the capacitance. Then VDD. Now I construct the slave. So in this slave mode also, we need a four transistor. So this first two transistor consider PMOS transistor and next to two is a NMOS transistor. So M5, M6, M7, M8. So output gate will be M6 and M7. So M5 and M8 interconnector. Then so output of this master is given to input of uh, this slave mode. So this clock bar and clock. So this is the simple structure. So this one call it as master. This portion call it as slave. So now I am going to explain the operation of uh, this master mode on slave mode. So let us consider when clock value equal to 0. So when clock value equal to 0, 
So just apply the clock value zero. So clock work one. So here M two transistor turn on, M three transistor turn on. So clock value equal to zero. So here zero and one. M six off, M seven off. When clock equal to zero, M two and M three. It goes to on M six and M seven. These two transistor goes to turn off. So based on the input value, the MOSFET it will is the output value. So let us consider D value is zero. So D value is zero. It's a simple inverter. So this zero is given to M one transistor and M four transistor. So M one transistor turn on. M4 transistor turn off. So VDD is connected to X. So this point. So VDD is connected to X. The C1 capacitor is charged. So output of this inverter is one. So when clock value equal to zero, D value equal to zero. In this case. The transistor M1 and M2, M3. These three transistors are turned on. The VDD is directly connected to output. In the in this case, the C1 capacitance also charges. Then come to so here slave mode. So in this case, here M6 and M7. These two transistors are turned off. So next case, when clock equal to one. So previous case clock value equal to zero. M2 and M3 transistor on. M6 and M7 transistor off. In this case, based on the input value, M1 on, M4 off. So come to clock equal to one. So clock value equal to one. So clock work. This value goes to zero. This value goes to one. So here zero. Here one. So in this case. This M2 transistor of M3 transistor of here the VDD is not connected to output because this M2 transistor is off condition. So here M2 and M3 these two transistors all goes to off. Then M6 and M7 these two transistors all turn on. M6 and M7. These two trans. So this M6 and M7. These two transistors are turned on. So based on this input value, this M5 or M8, any one of the transistor turned on. Here the input value of uh, this slave mode is one. So this one is applied to P MOS transistor and N MOS transistor. So M5 input and M8 input both are one. So in this case, M5, this P MOS transistor turned off. M8 N MOS transistor turn on. So M5 of M8 transistor on. So in this case, the output is zero because the VDD is not directly connected to output. So the output value is zero. So this is the simple structure for a MOSFET slave H figure C square dynamic register. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.